lift up your skin to you, bro. I don't think it goes up. Well, just, just so I can see your hip. Dude. Man, bro, we came. Jeez, Sebastian's good. Sebastian's good. Uh, Sebastian's alive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't usually like start these videos off of crashes because, to be honest, I think it's kind of cheap. But uh, like this race, there's an element of danger that I I think we should start and talk about as we go through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Look at Hector almost slip out, just like right here. Mm. Just putting down power, yeah. like straight. There's like no grip. Yeah, I mean the roads were wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and uh, from two SoCal boys, this is uh, you got like two leopards yeah. trying to swim through uh, the Ganges River. Mm. I, this was not our natural in environment. Yeah. So let's uh. We're just kind of getting right into the. Well, we'll talk more about the crash later. Um, there was a few, a couple other crashes too in this race, but um, yeah. So I mean, here we are. This is the first lap, and uh, you know, I really didn't make that much improvements from Cat Hill's video. Like my strategy, dude. I'm just at the back, bro. Uh, let, let's talk about the course, though. So like, like Santa Cruz is one of the maybe the most entertaining course of the year like cat's hill is uh cat's hill has you know that huge like mountain in the center of the course and so it gets all the attention this is the day two race but in my opinion like santa cruz is like it's a racer's race it's technical you get corners like this where you really like have a fast line and then everything else you pay a price for and it's just like it, it's a complete race course. What what was your like that 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 corner back there? What, how would you how were you taking it? And how are you taking the hairpin too? Like apex the hell out of it, and uh, with with the uh, with this hairpin at the end that we're gonna ride up to, and, and you'll see us take. Um, that's another one where you either get it right or you do not, and you will see a lot of examples of uh, messing that corner up in this video. Uh, how are you doing, Will? I'm good, man. Yeah, like I said, I just, uh, I, I think the weather was worse on this one than Cat's Hill. It, uh, yeah. it, was, it was pouring, man. And I, I stayed toward the back. I, I, I tail gunned this course last year in the fours, and it, and I was able to, like, ride it fairly efficiently, despite how technical it is, just because if you can carry speed, like, especially through this back section here. Um, you can really carry speed and momentum your way up the hill, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but yeah, today was, it was pretty spicy, I thought. I don't know. At the, times. So, so like, yeah. I've never tail gunned this course, like, ever. Mm -hmm. Like, like, three years, like, never. Because, like, because of the technicality of this, especially in the wet, mm -hmm. there's going to be, like, some kind of separation. And, uh, you know, like, you did conserve a lot of energy going through this, mm -hmm. and then, like, even see, like, going up here on this climb, mm -hmm. like, this amount of spread outness at this early of the race is indicative of what's to come, um, mm -hmm. along with the risk of, like, having all these people ahead of us. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's, the conditions are pretty nuts, pretty nuts. Wow, look at me. I think I'm panicking at this point. Yeah. Uh, how are you? Were you already feeling sick? I thought you kind of felt better on this one. So, like, to give some context, yeah. for the two weeks right after this race, I was, like, in bed with a fever. And I don't know what I got, but I got sick over this weekend. I think a lot of it to do with, like, the rain and just the wetness. Before this race, like, we were waiting. It was delayed for, like, 20 minutes with just the rain pouring on us and everyone shivering. And it was just, I don't know. I, I didn't know that I felt bad at this point, but I think I was already paying the price for not wearing enough or being prepared enough at Cats before, too. Ben swallowed a Santa Cruz banana slug. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> curse slug. Uh, yeah, Ben had, like, literally had fever, had a fever for, like, the next two weeks after this race, so. Yeah. I was surprised you even held up as well as you did, but, um, 
Yeah, I and and I I felt good, but like as you come up here, like mm -hmm. look at the numbers that you're doing, and I everyone else is doing something similar. Like the pace is just like insane going up this hill, and you know they would accelerate up here, and then all of a sudden I'd realize I didn't have that gear. So I think I was already kind of far gone. Uh, you're going to continue to shine during this race, though. <laughs> Um, I think a lot of that just comes down to basic survival, though, yeah. as as we'll see. I've it's like days like this because like I don't really race this that smart, where I'm just like happy I like tried to have as much fitness as I did. Like you know what I mean? Like all yeah. the hours you do in the off season. Yeah, exactly. Like I'm like I'm glad I did that because like if I didn't do that, like this would I would have been popped. Like the way I raced this, like how. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, no, there, there's like a lot of a lot of low hanging fruit, and and then like fitness will will help you to string together like mm -hmm. what's happening here. So yeah. like you like just these see splits, like yeah, and yeah. it's still the timer on on my data is messed up. But we're about halfway through the race, and uh, it's just people are testing yeah. and trying to get selective, and that's just how the rest of this mm -hmm. is going to be. So you need all the watch you got. Yeah. Um, in in this case, we're going down to this hairpin. W watch the guy in like the the olive kit. Like, watch how he takes this corner. <laughs> Never seen Scary. someone like, back in. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There was like sometimes you just yeah. drift through this, and, thing. and he gets away with it. But now here, this is your footage. Will yeah, a couple laps later. Oh, watch up ahead. There's a Mike Spikes rider. He does the same thing. T bone. <laughs> Man. <laughs> <laughs> the good thing, though, is that when he realized that he took that guy out, he stopped and he waited for him. Oh, oh, wait, no, he didn't do that at all. Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> shameful yeah. tactics. <laughs> yeah. So if you saw, if you saw up there too, Sebastian escaped that one. Yeah, that was pretty close. Um, oh, but yeah, no, it was pretty. It was pretty nuts. I mean, thankfully that was, like thankfully the nice thing about the hairpin is like you're going so slow mm -hmm. that if you do go down, yeah. It's okay. Oh man, look at this. Yeah, this is me getting yeah. uh, dropped off the back. So yeah. like, we're getting toward the near end of the race, mm -hmm. and this is the same moment that Ben's getting dropped off. I I see that this gap is forming. Ben's already up there, and I have to just send it here because I'm like, we gotta close this. Um, and so I'm pretty in a a pretty good dig here, and I mean, this ground is like ice, and you're gonna see me kind of split through some manhole covers on this point of view. And this is George's POV. Yeah. And, oh, jeez. So like Sebastian hit the pot, or not a manhole, right? Yeah. And George uh -huh. went down. Uh, yeah. Shout out to George. Thank you for the footage. Uh, there, there's I, a link to his YouTube channel yeah, down he, below. He did a better video on this than than we did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And dude, like props to George for getting right I, back up. Dude, like. that looked very painful. <laughs> That looked very painful. I don't know how George went down. It looked like he had to go over his bars a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, he, he was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. It, it was it was a high swine, mm -hmm. and um, I was I felt really bad that people went down behind me because it was like. But that that's the thing. Like when when you rail these lines in the wet, it mm -hmm. is not forgiving at all. Yeah. And unfortunately, there's your example of it. Mm -hmm. So so Will rails that line. He gets up to me, and now mm -hmm. we're gonna have to TT our way up to the front group. Yeah. And um, I, you know, with that crash, I kind of thought we were the only people at this point. You know what I mean? And that's how it was my first year. Yeah. There was a crash on that exact corner, and it was just uh, one other yeah. guy and myself who got Look how it. bad I take this, dude. I was saying uh, Ben puts a 10 bike length gap on me. I was saying cross-eyed. That you, that you closed just a second later. <laughs> yeah. But um, this was kind of a weird moment. So, like, yeah, I thought this split... I thought this was going to be the race. Um, there's about, what, eight guys up there. Mm -hmm. And um, I was like, dude, if we get up there, we're top 10 i mm -hmm. guess like yeah. i'm like yeah. i can't believe it's happened uh -huh. there's about 30 people in this race yeah. mm -hmm. um i was like wow um they sit up this this front group they sit up hard here and and i'm still like yeah. giving up i'm like so yeah i, I look I'm back like, at, <laughs> i'm telling yeah. you to go ahead <laughs> yeah i look back at ben i'm like oh we got this but in a way this was like kind of bad um because 
most of the field got back at this point. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. And we we uh, committed. Yeah. To, I was ready to, to up here. I was ready to rule. Like we were totally caught off guard on the split because of like horrible positioning, and then you know. So I don't, I don't know how much I would have lasted, but um, you know the field does get back together, and mm-hmm. yeah, we we get into three to go. I think this is the same lap, right? I don't know. Was it that? Well, or do we go forward here? Yeah, I. Regardless, we're at three to go, and uh, yeah, lead group. And just watch this acceleration. You're just getting left at like 600 watts. And and Will, like, you're not that big of a guy. I I know that you're an actual like adult sized person, (laughs) but like, like 600 watts is still a lot. I'm like 74 kilos. Yeah, it's freaking tough. I'm not a climber, but um, yeah, it's a. I, I don't really freak out on this hill, and maybe this is, like, why I kind of messed up, because, like, I know, like, it always bunches up in the hairpin. Mm-hmm. I think I, I got a little bit too chill on this course. Like, I probably need to be more assertive, because uh, when we get to where these couple, like, we skipped a two to go, mm-hmm. and this is what I'm kind of saying, like, I'll leave a big gap here, because mm-hmm. I'm just going to break later. Yeah. Um, but but the risk of this is that like a lot of these guys don't take this corner too fast, so like a split will immediately happen on the exit. Yeah. So that's why I like try to position aggressively up on yeah, this hairpin. I wasn't accounting that. for that that well to be honest. And and like again, like I just I was trying just not to be surgy, mm-hmm. but I'm, I was surgy here. You know, I gotta be more assertive through that hairpin. Um, I I think I think another thing too is that like I. I invested a lot in like trying to get my position up high. Mm-hmm. Like, like Look even here, it's still freaking strung yeah. out with two to go. But I'm still at the back of the peloton right now. <laughs> yeah, but I've I've also like yeah. burned so many matches just trying to stay mm-hmm. up that I'm like dead in the water. I'm getting dropped off here. Like we're yeah. heading into the last even, lap. We're not even on the hill just, yet. Yeah. yeah, I'm just burnt. Yeah, so this is just me behind Ben a little bit. Ben's getting gapped off, and I mean, this is strung out, but I, we're going into last lap, and I'm like, okay, I, I just need to unload now. <laughs> so this is probably the fastest I went up the hill today, um, and, or most power probably. And yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to get back up to that lead group. I think it's kind of split up into two groups now. Um, and you're and the and the thing is, you're gaining like like you had the power to do this. Yeah. It was just like that last hairpin kind of sealed the deal. Mm-hmm. There was, there was just such a split. Yeah. Yeah, again, like, I, um, you know, there's, like, Cat's Hill, I didn't race confidently. I didn't race confidently in this one. And uh, it just goes to show you how much that matters. I was okay with it, honestly, because, like, I was, I was like, man, I, I just, I didn't want to crash today. I don't know. And I feel like you have to let that go to really do. See, oh. So there goes uh, Louis, right, or Louis, Louis, I think. Uh-huh. Yeah, one of our he, CBR boys. He's a SoCal guy. Uh-huh. He, he was okay. He was really strong. He, he got right back up. Yeah. It, it, yeah, he finished right behind me. But, but yeah, I, I'm i just in kind of no man's land, and, and I do kind of claw my way back up to the this kind of front this front group. I mean, this is the – there's a little group uh, beyond the Specker Riders you see there. But, I mean, I do a good dig here. This is what I was saying. I was like, I'm like, I was like, eh, you know, like the fitness, I think – kind of is there they just man this is like racecraft you know the other thing too is like looking in retrospect mm-hmm. like it's constructive to be this critical of like what you do because you mm-hmm. can build off of that but man the rain this weekend was mm-hmm. unprecedented and, I, and I've, <laughs> I've done i've done this race uh kind of damp and mm-hmm. it was it changed it a lot but i've never raced in like a downpour like yeah. what the first half of this was mm-hmm. so like a lot of this was you get punched in the face and mm-hmm. you still have to like like be strategic mm-hmm. and all things told like i'd say you did pretty well and uh yeah like like again like i made it out alive and um you know it was i, I just you know I'm glad, like, we're, we're recording this, like, a, pretty much a month after this race. Um, Sebastian and, like, George are okay, you know, but, mm-hmm. yeah, you know, when you race high speeds in the rain, man, stuff can happen really fast, so. It's oh, yeah, just, for sure. Yeah, so I, I rolled in for, like, 12th, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so, I mean, probably could have gone top 10 there if I didn't lead out everybody on the last lap there who got also gapped off. But. Dude, your, your power looks so good, like, yeah. it if if you could like come back and and position more aggressively up mm-hmm. like 
I'd say top 10 is conservative to and, what could have happened. And you'll be in it too once you feel good. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs>